this. I'm going to run the same offense this entire game. And I'm going to score just about every single time I use it. You can see six rushes, 103 yards, and a touchdown. Just got to buy time, and then boom. You can see this route here. It's right over the top. Going out of this game with a perfect 100% completion rating on the quarterback. If do right, no can defense. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese. Always got another gameplay video for you guys today in a brand new offense. A very run heavy offense, but also going to show you guys an explosive one play touchdown that scores against every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button below in the comment section and make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Today I'm using the Rams offense, which is really one of the best offenses in the game. It's something that I've put out quite a bit from recently. The formation, though, is going to be the single back ace. So pretty much any playbook that has a single back ace will have some of these plays, but the Rams are one of the few that has all the plays I need. The plays I'm going to have in my four play audibles are as follows. Number one, I'm going to have the jet sweep. This is a very good run play. It's been a very good run play for a very long time. It's probably going to be best against cover three, cover four, stuff like that. My number one run play, though, is going to be the halfback stretch. That's one of the reasons I'm using the Rams. This is only found in, I think, five different playbooks. I think it's like the Colts, maybe the Bears. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll try to leave that in the description. My number one pass play is going to be the skinny post. This is going to be something that I use kind of like a dink and dunk pass play whenever my opponent commits to some of the run plays because this is definitely a run-first offense. And then the last play is going to be something that I save when I want to score one play touchdown against about any defense in the game. That's going to be the Z post Y out. This particular play here can be a one play touchdown to either side of the field based on the fact that we have an even formation. We can just flip this play and run it in any direction that we want, which is one of the things that makes this formation so deadly. So those are my four plays in my audibles. The fifth play is an important play too. You're going to want at least one run play up the middle. I like to use the halfback dive, but you could also use plays like the zone weak alert Z smoke if you're using the Rams. They also have a really good play off of the motion of the jet sweep called the zone fake jet. Like I said, I'm going to be using the dive quite a bit. So the fifth play that I pick every single time when I come out is going to be the dive. Once I get to the line of scrimmage, I pretty much just read what the defense is giving me every single time. Here we have an extra safety in the box on the right side. I'm going to switch over to my number one run play, which is the stretch. Then I'm just going to flip with the right stick and run it to the left side away from that extra safety and that extra box defender it's really that simple of a read when it comes to this first play now this play, first play here i have a pretty good run but if i would have gotten inside of that receiver a little bit better i probably would have had a much bigger run so that actually left a lot of meat on the bone there on the very next play, my opponent adjusts to take that away. You can see he essentially has everybody set up wide, so I really can't take that stretch as easily. I thought about passing it, but I wasn't sure if this is a cover two, and the skinny post doesn't work very well against cover two. So I switch over to my jet sweep play, which probably isn't the best cover two play either, but ultimately it's going to be better for this wide defensive alignment. And on the very next play, we get the blocks we need, and we're breaking off another big run. So back-to-back -back plays, two very good runs, and we're moving the ball right down the field. You can see right there, it was a cover three match. This play is going to be best against cover threes, cover for us, anything where the cornerbacks drop back outside. On the next play, I see once again, it comes back in pretty much the exact same cover one or cover three shell. So I'm going to switch right back to that stretch play the same way, but I wanted to show that you can see in this formation that Russell Wilson, with all the adjustments that I make, he doesn't make any pre-snap motions to give away what I'm doing, which is really cool about this formation. A lot of times you won't see a lot of animations from the quarterback, which makes it easier to hide your adjustments and hide your run plays. It doesn't always work that way, but it does work that way enough that it's definitely an added bonus to this formation. Now on the next play, he starts taking it seriously and switches to the usual middle linebacker and shuts that play down. But that's fine because that's part of the whole process is bringing that user forward, bringing that linebacker down and then switching over to some of these pass plays. So now I'm in the skinny post. You're going to see if you watch his user middle linebacker, he essentially just drops around the running back because there's no other routes in his area. There's nothing really short or intermediate to really draw that user's attention. And I'm just going to throw the ball right over the top to a much deeper route, which this route here is one of the hardest routes to defend if you throw this ball right. Now we're going to rewind it back because I want to show you guys the read structure of this play. It's really simple. You're going to start this play looking at the tight ends. The tight ends are a very easy route. They just go out into the flat. This route will essentially only beat zone. So if you see a man coverage like what we have here where this guy uh, defender just covers very tightly, you can't throw the ball there. And it's going to be the exact same on both sides of the field. I ran it to the open side of the field. That's typically better. But even on the short side of the field, tight end's going to be the exact same thing. You're going to see he's going to be blanketed. If you make a mistake and throw it to this man coverage uh, route, you could essentially be throwing a pick six. Mm. 
So you got to be aware of that. But like I said, it starts by watching the tight end. So once you realize that it's going to be a man coverage, you know your only other routes are going to be the receivers, which really will beat any just about any man or zone with the exception of cover two. So you can see right here, it looks like he's defended. All I have to do is basically bullet, pass lead inside, and I'm going to beat that pretty much every single time. And it's the same on the other side as well. The B route would have been wide open in the same way. So it really doesn't matter. It's all about the pass lead and the bullet pass. And then I'm also going to pretty much safe catch every single time. Now, my opponent apparently switched out to a cover four quarters, which if anybody watches my channel knows, that's a very good run defense. So I'm going to go right back to that skinny post one more time because it's going to be much harder to run against this particular defense than any other defense you run. On the next play, it's the exact same effect. There's no route pulling the user. He basically just freezes there and I hit him with the bullet pass lead and safe catch one more time Holy technique. If do right, no can defense. on the other side my opponent goes right down the field of me I'm not going to show defense in this video I do have some defense from this video so if you want to see that in a future video hit the like button in the comment section but my opponent does a pretty good job he mosses me right there I get lucky on a fumble which completely changes the drive and you can see we're right back in business from our own seven yard line now on the offensive side again gonna run the exact same offense i'm gonna run the same offense this entire game i'm not gonna leave this formation the entire game and i'm gonna score just about every single time i use it so on the next play I go back to that simple stretch play you can see my opponent just, just basically beat him with a little bit more speed to the edge and boom we're getting out of the danger zone so now that we're at the 25 i'm gonna go ahead and try to hit him with this one play touchdown i'm gonna flip the play so that i can run to the open side of the field that's one of the few things that's really important I mean, I'd probably rather run to DK Metcalf, but still. So now I'm going to run to the open side of the field. I'm going to show you my adjustments. It's really simple. Against cover three or against cover one, I'm just going to streak the Y route, put the A route on a five-yard out route, and then put the B route here on a 10-yard out route. Typically, you have to be like a first and 10 like I am to get that 10-yard out route, but this is pretty much going to be the setup. This is all you have to do against cover three or cover one. You're going to see, once again, he's in cover one. I wasn't 100% sure before the play started. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> And boom, you can see this route here. It's right over the top against one of the best defenses, one of the best secondaries in the game. We're getting a very easy one play touchdown. Now, in the next offensive series, I explain the importance of having the halfback dive as your main play. I'm audible into everything else, but you always want to have the halfback dive as your main play because eventually every opponent you'll run into will be more concerned with the stretch run and the uh, the jet sweep than anything else, and they'll come out in something like this. This is a defense that's spread way too far apart to stop those runs, and then boom, we're going right up the middle for a very easy run that we essentially take to the house because there's just nothing out here once we get past that first level and we're up easily 21 nothing early in the second quarter and if we look at the breakdown you can see this is a run heavy offense i've got seven rushes the three passes two of those passes though were touchdowns so at the end of the day that's really where the most explosive play comes from my opponent on the other side having a little bit of issues he's having no luck around the goal line as he tries to run with the quarterback and we knock the ball out again so like i said he moved the ball well it was just turnovers that cost him at the end of the day on the next series of plays once again we're still going to be hitting him with that stretch first you can see six rushes 103 yards and a touchdown very explosive run play I don't have a lot of time though as there's only about 50 some seconds left for the half and I'm going to try to score one more time. So we're going back to that one play touchdown. He's still in that cover one, cover three shell. I'm not really 100% sure what I'm looking at, but I'm going to set my adjustments up the same way because it's basically the same thing. The only issue here is it's second and seven. So you can see this B route is not on a 10 yard out route, which is going to slightly alter the effectiveness of this play against cover three. And sure enough, that's exactly what he's running. So you'll see here the cornerback does take off to try to stop this deeper route. <laughs> Luckily though, we still get Get, uh, we get enough separation and we're scoring a one play touchdown again so you can see this play here works against cover one works against cover three my opponent does not run cover two so i'm gonna have to go to a practice mode to show you guys this particular play against cover two zone and man against cover two zone there's just a slightly different setup you're going to essentially do the exact same thing but you don't want to put the y route on a streak that's the only real difference everything else is going to happen the exact same way you're going to see how the out route essentially pulls the safeties apart, and then the X route is just going to split it right up the middle. So you just got to buy a little bit of time, and you get a very easy one-play touchdown against cover two. It has the exact same effect against cover two man. It's pretty much the exact same thing. You might get a little bit of tighter coverage, but it's the same setup. The X route, once again, once he gets inside, he will split those safeties the same way, as this time it seems like the strong safety was even further out of the play. So that's pretty much it. That's the vid. At this point, I mean, I was up so big that I was just really milking the clock against my opponent, but I'll show you guys a couple more 
more highlights from this because ultimately I ran the ball a lot more once I was in this situation. And you can see we're really having a lot of success when it comes to some of these run plays, uh, especially some of the inside run plays. You can see, I mean, you know, it's something that you really just have to go through the read structure. If you stick to the read structure, you're going to have nothing but success. Here we have another play. He almost cuts this off. He had a nice little spin move, though. He thought it was going to be wide. That was just enough to get the first down. I was happy with that. Then to end the game, I come out with the skinny post one more time because he did get me in a pretty good, you know, second and 14. Hit him with that low throw once again. And we're going out of this game with a perfect 100% completion rating on the quarterback. And my opponent's had enough. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.